Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Binding of Isaac Revelations plus Alpha Birth Convergence Mod plus the Modded Items Only Workshop Mod. So we're going to be seeing all modded items in this game except for the boss room items, they will still be the same. But yeah, I had a whole lot of fun with this mod last time. I didn't know what a lot of the stuff does, I still don't know what a lot of the stuff does. Maybe I'll pick up some bad stuff, I probably won't understand half the items I get. We can discover them together. If you want to explain the items, let me know down in the comments below. That saves me from having to go look up what they actually do because I probably will forget to, but I do read my comments all the time. This convergence mod and the modded items only, just making the game basically all new items, it really breathed new life into the game for me in the last run that we did last week. I know it's been a while, I do apologize. The, the more variety is great and I'm hoping that some of the mod creators can create more compatibility kind of things with these big expansions. Maybe we can get the, the quarry working with uh, these mods. From what I understand, the quarry is a little buggy, but I don't know what kind of tweaks it's going to take to get it to work with other things. Okay, so this looks like rubber cement, but it's not. It is peanut butter, PB and Slay. We got this last time. I do recall reading the description afterwards, but that was a week ago and I've already forgotten it. So. Uh, I still have no idea what this does. Uh, because I believe there are other effects. I don't know where the jelly comes in. There's no J. There's there's Slay. Only Slay. Alright, unfortunately we can't buy these items. I think the modded items only is kind of going to be a hindrance in the shop because there aren't that many items in the shop item pool. I guess there's no vignette before the glacier. So it makes kind of for an awkward unexpected transition. I know that there are some mods that purposely take out those floor transitions just for speed of the game. I do not have such mod installed. I know a lot of speedrunners do it. There's a popular speedrunner mod that removes floor transitions and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, they stick together. That's what the peanut butter does. They're all stuck. Ah uh -huh. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I like it a lot. So I was saying it's nice to have a break from Sarah to play as Isaac again. Sarah's a complicated character. I think it's it's nice that it introduces different strategies. You're not always uh, focused on that devil deal and trading away your red health. Just makes a little bit for different gameplay. There are some new characters in Alpha Birth. I haven't looked at them. I haven't, I don't know anything about them, how they work. We lost our devil deal and that sucks. Flurry Jr. Flurry comes straight for you. He's not like Larry Jr. You can just kite him around the screen like this and he's actually pretty easy. It's when you start going away from him diagonally that he kind of starts to get a little weird and kind of a little scarier pattern because he starts zigzagging towards you and that's kind of scary, but it's really not though. Hey, we still got a deal. Wow, okay. And we will take this skull looking thing. Gloom skull, damage up, evil up, and I feel scared. I believe we did get this last run too. Oh yeah, the, uh, the gloom item does give us permanent curse of darkness, I believe. Do we have guaranteed devil deals now? Because if so, that's awesome and I support it. I cannot see anything on this room. It's blizzard room plus curse of darkness, I guess. I mean, not well from, from our gloom item, but it's making it impossible to see. So let's head on down to the glacier too. Hey, if you guys have suggestions on other mods to use with the modded items only, we'll probably have a high chance of seeing it. Hopefully it's compatible with what we got going on. Leave them in the comments down below. I'll definitely check them out and add them in for the next video. Here's our Mirror Boy fight. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, fight him after we finish this floor. I want to save it Mirror Man for the end just because uh, maybe we can get some more DPS upgrades or health before we fight him. Just to make the fight a little bit easier. I think there is a way to work his patterns that I got close to last time. So maybe we can figure that out this time and find a way to beat him without taking too much damage. So we took red heart damage and we still have our deal chance. So definitely that gloom item we got gave us guaranteed devil deals. This permanent curse of darkness does not make for a good viewing on YouTube. We already got the gamma on max though. So maybe when I'm doing my editing, maybe I can find a little post processing effect that'll uh, lighten this up a little bit. We'll see. Either it's unbearable to watch and you've already clicked away from the video or I figured it out and it's watchable and you click the like button and we're all having a grand old time. Slagmite, just a little Gertie clone, kind of, until he goes down to this phase and starts sucking you in and pushing you out towards the spikes. Not very fun. 
but he's not a problem. Speed upgrade, we might reroll. Two items that we don't know what they do. What do we got? Infested baby, eight-legged friends. Sounds like spiders. I support spiders. Oh, Chalice, we got this last time. Temporary damage upgrades. Temporary damage upgrades. We don't need temporary damage. We want full damage. We got little Al Alistair. Alistair. Is that Alabaster? So little Alistair is our flame baby. Once he char he's charged, he shoots a nice little candle flame. Does pretty good damage, I think. Looks like our other familiar is just randomly spawning spiders. Kind of a, maybe a rotten baby, but for spiders. And if that's the case, I'm happy with that. I guess maybe like a juicy sack without the creep. Spawning maybe a little more frequently than juicy sack, maybe? So there's that cauldron item that we got before. What's this? Black pepper. This really gets in your nose. Oh, well that's actually kind of cool. Maybe we can use this in a couple rooms. Ooh, this looks interesting. Faithful Ambivalence Divine Intervention. Okay, um, not sure what it does. <laughs> okay, this looks like some snot or something. Infection, enemy epidemic. So interesting that the crown that we picked up, it's only half a crown right now. Crown, crayon, it's a crown, it's a crown, <laughs> I know. I know how to say words. All right, we had this one last time too. It's a little planet orbital, the cosmos. Hey, health, we needed health. Thank you, health. Like I was saying before, if we had a compatibility mod for the quarry, we could be in the quarry now, possibly. More than anything else though, I just would like anti-birth to be compatible with afterbirth plus because anti-birth is the creme de la creme of the mods for this game. I think there's definitely some something going on between the anti-birth devs and Edmund. They're working on something together, somehow, some way. I'm not sure what. We'll just have to wait and see. Alright, what is it? Hive head queen status. I'm a queen! I, I don't know what it does. I do have a little honeybee orbital. I don't know if he does contact damage or what his story is. Get these out of here. Looks like he disappears and maybe respawns? Where's my bee? I don't see my bee. Where'd he go? I wanna see if he does contact damage, but I don't wanna take damage in the process. Come on, come on, get him. Um, can't tell if he did anything. Yeah, oh, he exploded. Okay, cool. Um, let's not do that. I forgot what this is, so we're gonna touch it. Dynamo powered by sweat and tears again. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that one. Oh, that's so cool. I believe it's whenever we let go of the fire button, it does that. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Woo. So, we got rocket shoes and we got the Q tip super absorbent. So, that one absorbs creep and that one makes us move really fast. We haven't gotten any speed upgrades, so we'll take the rocket shoes. Gertie. Are you a champion, Gertie? I think so. No, you're not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're not good. We're good. Well, let's reroll this. Perfect. Then we can take this. Wait, what? Okay, we got a free book and a familiar. Lil Belial, he's death's list. Book of the Dead, Bardo Thodol. We're taking it. I don't know what it does. Maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe we won't. All right, what do you do, book? Nothing noticeable. <laughs> well, we're gonna keep using this book every time it's charged up because maybe we'll figure out what it does eventually. I am very interested in this red chest because I know it contains two spirit hearts for us to help keep us alive. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. What are you? Stoned buddy personal pushover. Is he gonna bully the enemies around like those fat stonies do to me? Cause that would be awesome. All right, war. Let's see what you got. 
Maybe this book increases my deal chance, but I wouldn't know because I already have 100% deal chance. I don't think we'll be able to take anything from here. Well, we get a free item. I don't know why that keeps happening. Chastity. Um, I think that has something to do with not taking devil deals or something. So I couldn't resist and had to look up some of these items. Our book that we have actually resurrects dead enemies in a room to fight for you. So we're going to try it right here. Yeah. So you want to use it halfway through a room to respawn all the, all the dead guys to fight on your behalf. The chastity item apparently gives a massive stats boost, but you lose that boost if you take a deal with the devil, which we did, so... That's why we can't see any effect there. Okay, did you see that? <laughs> the hopper got peanut butter stuck to the portal and hopped the portal halfway across the room. So after we take out Monster 2 here, then can we pop the book and use Monster 2 to kill the other enemy? I would like to try that. That would be cool. Can you, oh, this would be crazy on boss rush. Can you imagine? Recharging every three waves and you can summon bosses to help you out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get him. Oh, get him, Monstro. Oh, and the flies follow us. The monster didn't, though. So we can pop the book here, and all the little guys that we've killed so far will fight on our side. Ooh, a little laggy there. Krampus and a free item. Did I, did I mention that? One of the items I get gives you a... Oh, yeah, the, the little crown with the horns gives you a, a free item on angel rooms and devil rooms and that's why we got the extra item here patience breathe no idea all right loki you work for me now wait where is he where is he i summoned him no i want my loki buddy Oh my gosh, all these friends make it so laggy. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's better. Woo, look at all these guys we got. Oh no, it's so laggy. It's so laggy. I can't move. <laughs> Oh, it's fine once once the room resets. Oh, I want a wall laser spider. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully he sticks with us a while. That's an amazing companion to have. Get lasered, Loki. Hell yeah. Ooh, four items in here. Uh, okay, this candle kit, don't burn it at both ends. Okay. Quill feather, ink explosive tears. I think we had that before. I think we had this one before too. Blasphemous, my sin follows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the laser. We're gonna take the, well. No, we're gonna take our, our Book of the Dead. Uh, this one gives us a little monolith we can shoot through. I'm not just gonna leave that one. Okay, we got a little crying skull. Isaac skull, don't ask how this is possible. Um, I'm scared to use this. We're gonna use it. Oh! Do I get brimstone for a room? Looks like it. This room can screw right off. Thank God I have flight. Lasers got me. Laser eyes. Got our little ink explosive tears going through. Ooh, a 
lag. You know, I don't really experience lag very much with Isaac at all, except for with these mods. Um, quite a bit of lag. Let's try it. So we got tiny ice cubes. That's fine. Health sketchy, but I think we can make it. I hope. Okay, we didn't get our brimstone. Wait, we have Godhead? Okay, so Isaac's skull doesn't just give you brimstone. It gives you some random top tier item. Or is it brimstone or Godhead? Oh, we forgot to fight Mirror Boy back in the beginning. Oh, well. Spirit hearts, please. Nope. Let's just work on not getting hit at all ever again. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Okay, uh, we got hit and died and got something that made us restart the floor. I don't know what item caused that. Um, and it's a new floor layout. I have no idea what my health is. Hey, I'm happy we got another chance. If you know which item made that happen, let me know in the comments. I mean, we might only have one health. I don't know. Hey, two steam sails just in time. I guess I should have black root in that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, Yara or Black Rune. Oh man. I guess we take Yara. More items. More fun, right? Alright, Brimstone or Godhead, what are we gonna get? Brimstone. Holy what? Okay. Um Yeah, I will uh take that. That is fine. I don't know what is happening. But I'm in love with it. Alright, and let's not forget to use the air rune. Maybe we'll see our health on the next floor. I don't know. One black heart. Alright. Oh, no more keys. Okay. Circuit board. Tech alpha laser tears. Doesn't seem to work. Blood drive. Mass blood loss. I don't want to lose blood. Meteor tears. Yeah, yeah. Teleporter. I... No, no, no. This looks cool. Aimbot, elite hacks. Uh, okay, maybe it seeks out enemies. Mutant fetus, bomb, tears. Uh, I think this is all broken by the by the ice shard things. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> all right, well, it was a fun run, and I wish I could have seen what those new items did, but hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's always more of it coming in the future. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.